Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead and click on subscribe and also click on that bell to receive all the updates and notifications on my channel. So today we have a product review of a tactical flashlight. This flashlight was supplied to me free of charge in exchange for my review by a company called CS Force. CS Force can be found on Amazon and if you like this flashlight after the review, go ahead and check out the description. There will be a link that I'll bring you out to the seller's storefront on Amazon and you can purchase it for yourself. Okay, so let's look at the uh, light in detail. And you know what? I love flashlights because whether you're working out in the garage, around the house, uh, snowmobiling, out in the trail, doing hiking, or whatever it may be, um, you never know when you need a flashlight. And having a, a small, compact flashlight where it's not going to take a room, take up a lot of room with whatever you're carrying, um, is also uh, a good uh, a good factor as well. So this is what they call a tactical flashlight. And um, so looking at the, uh, the features of the flashlight, um, it is all aluminum, it is weather tight. Um, the, the modes on the flashlight are activated by hitting this little push button switch. And there are five modes in, in this particular light. We'll review them uh, during the, the demonstration. Um, but one, one feature that this uh, light has, it is ha it does have an adjustable field of vision. And the way you activate it is you just draw back on the, uh, the body of it and it'll change the focus on the lens. And it can give you either a wild, wide field of vision or a, nor or a narrow spot, right? So just out and in, right? So there you go. So looking at the flashlight, looking at through the lens, you're gonna see two uh, LEDs in there. One is your normal Cree LED, and that has about 700 lumens of light. And the second one is a UV light. Now, some may be asking, why do I need a UV light on my flashlight? And it actually has a lot of, uh, a lot of uses uh, out in the, uh, depending on what you're doing. So one example is, say if you're working in the automotive industry um, and you're trying to detect a leak, um, you know, there's a dye that you can put in whatever fluid that you're trying to work with and that dye will be picked up under the UV light, right? So that's one feature to have. Uh, well, that's one instance that you can use it. So another instance is uh, if you're working with currency, licenses, passports, or something like that, there are certain uh, copyright or counterfeiting measures that only appear uh, using a UV light. So you can use it to check that. Uh, you can also use it at night. Uh, um, where you want to light something up, but you don't necessarily want to um, light up the whole area that you're working in, because uh, with a UV light, um, you're still going to be able to see, but it's not going to distract anything, uh, uh, something that you're trying to look at, right? Right. So what we'll do is we're going to um, show some clips of this thing in, in action, and we'll go from there. All right. So I'm out here with the flashlight. So. This is just an example of it on high. And as you can see, this is pretty much on the uh, the wide setting. So what we'll do is we'll reduce it to a spot. And we'll show you kind of what it is far away. Okay, so what we'll do now is We'll switch over to the UV, and what we'll see is the emblem on that hat. It will just pick up. It will really start to reflect in the UV light. And it's the same thing if you want to do a a wide field of vision or a spot, you can use that for the UV as well. So there you go and that the white light has a high and a strobe effect right and then back to the uv all right so there you go you saw the flashlight in action and it's actually a lot brighter than it may came out on on film um, i'm going to give this a big thumbs up because it's small it's compact it's lightweight and the construction on it is pretty good um, and really you can put it anywhere you can put it in your glove box in your backpack or wherever you may uh wherever you may need it and uh not worry about it so um if there's any questions comments concerns 
Go ahead and leave it in the comments box and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.